determinant. The term determinant is often used to mean the value of a determinant. Uh, we will be learning about second order determinant and third order determinant. So what is a second order determinant? The value of a determinant, now you see the matrix symbols over here, which is having elements A1, V1, A2, B2. What you do is, you will multiply A1 with B2 over here, like I have drawn an arrow over here. A1, B2. So this is yours A1, B2 and then you put a minus sign and then you will do a2 times b1 so a2 times b1 when you simplify these two you will end up with a value of a second order determinant similarly we are having three third order determinants so third order determinants it is having uh, three rows and three columns remember uh, these horizontal arrangement of elements is called what rows and the vertical arrangement of elements is what called columns uh, when you are copying this I want you to draw a circle over here and make sure to write plus minus and plus over here I will explain about this in the when we will be learning about third order determinant so how you solve the third order determinant is you first of all we are expanding by the first row so you will take your first element a1 and then afterwards you look at the remaining uh, part over here this is your part over here okay so what I'm doing is uh, I will explain to those this in your when this comes over there when I'm explaining third order determinant so right now what you can do is go ahead and copy what you see right now okay copy this from here it will go towards your notes okay determinants uh, matrices what is a matrix a matrix is an array of numbers that are arranged in rows and columns horizontal arrangement of elements is called rows and the vertical arrangement of elements is called columns note that matrix is the singular form matrices is a plural form so when you see the word matrix it means it's a singular form and matrices more than one matrix that's a plural form a matrix is a square if it has the same number of rows and same number of columns so for example if my matrix has two rows and two columns I will call this as a square matrix now if in case I have three rows and three columns, then also it will be considered as three by three square matrix now look over here this matrix has two rows and two columns so this is a two by two square matrix now this matrix has what this has three rows over here and it has three columns so it is a three by three square matrix determinants every square matrix has a determinant the determinant of a matrix is a number so when you will be solving a determinant you will only be left with one answer then that will be a number we will consider the determinants only of square matrices this means either of 2 by 2 matrices or 3 by 2 matrix 3 by 3 matrices now how are determinant is represented determinant is represented by a vertical line over here okay so this this represent that's your determinant as you can see this is a vertical line over here that's a determinant so okay note the difference in the matrix and the determinant of the matrix difference in the matrix is what in the matrix your symbol is like this is like a bracket over here left bracket and square bracket but in main determinant it's just a vertical straight line over here why do we need the determinant determinant is used to help us calculate the inverse of a matrix and it is used when finding the area of a triangle how we will find determinant of matrices so let's take an example we have been given a 2 by 2 square determinant what you do is you notice the different symbol the straight line tells you to find a determinant yeah we already know this when you see this straight line it means what it is representing determinant if it was a bracket then it's a matrix so what I will do is how I will solve a determinant first of all as I mentioned there also earlier you will multiply these two numbers 3 times 4 okay and then you will uh, put a subtraction sign over here on your own okay and then you multiply the remaining two negative 5 times 2 
so when you multiply this what what you end up with you end up with the correct answer what is your answer in this case yes you got the correct answer answer is 22 over here good job question number one find the value of so what what you will do is first of all you will check yes this symbol over here vertical lines it represent a determinant if it was like this then it's a matrix now in some of the cases you will see they will give you a, a matrix symbol and you will they will give us find the determinant of this matrix it means the same thing this uh, this over here or our symbol these two means determinant so what i will do first of all is i will draw an arrow over here this means i'm multiplying what eight times six and as i mentioned earlier to you you will put a minus sign on your own and then you will go to the remaining ones remaining is what seven times four so seven times four is what 28 or i will write it over here seven times four so my next step uh, what is my next step over here is my next step is 8 times 6 is 48 7 times 4 is 28 and you will subtract and this is my answer 20 so 20 is the value of this determinant over here let's look at question 2 find the value of negative 5 times 7 and 6 and 5 6 12 and 7 so what happens over here is first of all always remember take the first element draw an arrow over here so negative 5 times 7 gives me negative 35 and you will put a minus sign on your own and then you will do this 12 times 6 what is 12 times 6 72 now after this as you can see what we can do is we can use our uh, scientific calculator for this to find the answer so go ahead and use your scientific calculator so you will avoid making mistake uh, whenever it comes to are dealing with negative numbers so it is yours negative this is a negative sign over here so it is your negative 35 uh, minus sign and that's your 72 so your final answer over here is negative 107 so I write it over here negative 107 so this is the answer for this question so value of determinant for this is negative 107 let's look at this question it says find the value of the determinant negative 4 5 3 and 7 so step number one is you will take your first element and you will draw an arrow over here it is telling you what it is telling you negative 4 times 7 and you put the minus sign on your own and the remaining 2 is 3 times 5 so i will do 3 times 5 there you go. so it will give you negative 28 and this will give you 15 and your answer is negative 28 minus 15 will give you what negative 43 so this is the answer for this problem over here again one more similar question over here find the value of the uh, determinant 2 3 2 negative 3 5 and 9 now do keep in mind always start from the first element as i showed to you if you start from anywhere else you might end up with the wrong answer so this is your 2 times 9 which gives me 18 don't forget to put a minus sign on your own okay now you will do the second part over here uh, second part is 5 times negative 3 which will give you negative 15 now subtraction or negative sign will make a positive and your answer is what positive 33 and feel free to use your scientific calculator whenever you are doing calculations so you can avoid errors uh, dealing with addition subtraction signs and all now when you look at this question over here where it says find determinant of the given matrix okay it means the same i mean it means we are talking about finding the value of the determinant our steps are still the same you will multiply these two numbers first of all negative 5 times 4 will give you negative 20 and after this what you do is you put a subtraction sign or bit on your own then you multiply these two 6 times negative 6 will give you what negative 36 so subtraction and a negative it may change to a positive and your answer is what 16 over here so this is the answer for this problem uh, these are two more problems what you should do at this time at this time you should pause the video and you should try to do these two problems on your own okay and once you have solved these two problems and then you check your answer with my answer whether you end up with the same answer or not okay if you end up with the same answer this means you have already mastered the concept you have learned the concept so let's let's proceed okay so what i will do over here is at this time you should have already got your answer 
I will multiply these two numbers over here 110 times 65 and I'll put a minus sign on my own and the second part is 18 times negative 9. Okay, so let's pull up our calculator over here. Okay, so this is yours 110 times 65. So it gives you 7115. So I'll write it over here 7150. Minus sign. Now this is my 18 times negative 9. So this is your 18 times negative 9. Negative 162. I'll write it over here. Negative 162. Now do remember these two. This will change to a positive sign. So basically you are just doing, you are just adding. So this is my 11, 2, so 7, there you go. So 7,212, this is my answer for this problem. I think uh, something is missing over here. I think it should, it's the wrong answer. It should be a different answer over here. Okay, so let's, let's cross check over. It should be 7,332. 7,150, then it's a plus sign over here, 162. So what is our answer? 7,312. Okay, so I need to erase this. This is your 7,312. So now check your answer with my answer. Did you got the same answer over here? All right, now let's look at another problem. Same process, same approach. Okay, so this is my 7, negative 7 times 8. Minus sign 5 times negative 12. So this will give me negative 56. There's a minus sign. This gives me negative 60. So this changes to what? This changes to a plus sign over here and you subtract and two different signs. Your answer should be what? Positive 4 for this problem. 